Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. We have survived the weekend. If only just barely. Oof. Alright, so, uh... First things first. We got our second dose of the, uh... Uh, COVID vaccine on Thursday. And I hadn't slept that much the night before, so, uh, you know. We went and got that done, got some lunch, and then I took a big nap. And then when I woke up, my head was kind of hurting, so I figured, you know, oh, it's just because I, uh, I didn't sleep very well, and, you know, anytime that happens and I still, I still have a headache even after I have a nap, so it was like, whatever. So we go to bed, and, um, I think Bruce has got a little bit of a headache at this point, too. It's whatever. We're laying down for maybe, God, about 30 minutes or so? 30 minutes to an hour? It really wasn't very long. And Brood's like, shivering. He's got chills really bad. And I'm like, whoa, that's weird. All right, well, the vaccine must be hitting you. And then like 15 minutes later, it hits me. And oh my God. We were freezing and burning up at the same time. <laughs> it was bad. Um, and we had migraines. So, um... Yeah, so we were pretty much up every hour or two all night, um, switching out ice packs for our faces and stuff. Um, trying to get some water in us. Just, oh, it was bad. Um, thankfully that had passed by the morning. Uh, we still had the headaches for most of Friday. God, we slept pretty much all Friday. Only waking up to, you know, eat. Um... I showered, which made me feel a lot better. Um, I think Brood did too. And then when he was feeling a little bit better, he ran out and grabbed uh, Resident Evil 8. <laughs> but then he came back and we just kept sleeping because, oh. Um. Yeah. Everything hurt. Severe fatigue. Fever chills. Migraine. Good times. And of course, a little bit of nausea, because, you know... <laughs> um, but yeah, we're feeling significantly better. Um, still have a lot of the fatigue, though. And... Rune still had the headache kind of off and on. But part of that could have been that we were just, you know, sitting in front of the TV all day and just... Uh, <laughs> trying to recover, so... <laughs> Um, and I have something fun that's referred to as COVID arm. Um, I apparently had a little bit of a reaction to the vaccine and I would show it off, but it's not really, you're not really going to be able to see it in this lighting. Um, I had this kind of red patch on my arm and I was like, oh dear God, what is this now? It's just a reaction to the vaccine. It's harmless. It's annoying. It'll go away on its own. <laughs> so, uh, uh, we got the Moderna vaccine. But yeah, we had an eventful weekend. But, uh, despite all of that, uh, like I mentioned earlier, Brood did manage to procure Resident Evil 8. Um... And I watched him play through all of that. We're still trying to figure out how we feel about the game. It wasn't a bad game by any means. Um, I think I still liked 7 better. I don't know. 
I don't want to say too much, I don't want to spoil it, but the story kind of took some odd turns that I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> so, that's it. But uh, there are a lot of unlockables and little challenges and stuff, so he's going to be busy with that game for a bit. Anyway. So, yeah. That was pretty much our weekend. Oh, yeah. We had a TV stand arrive. <laughs> our TV in the living room has just been on the floor. And so uh, we built that, and oh my god. Just getting it out of the box was exhausting. Because <laughs> the fatigue was still setting in, like, really hard. <laughs> oh. Managed to pull off literally all the mentioned side effects. I, I know, man! <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was not a good time, but, um, you know, still better than getting actual COVID. Because from what I've seen, uh, we've had a few people we know contract it. Uh, luckily, the majority of them very minimal impact, but uh, I have a couple people that I used to work with that uh, got hit pretty hard with it, and apparently it was everything we were feeling, but it lasted for like a solid month. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Galaxy, you should have seen us. We were so pitiful. Like, we are just walking around like, uh... <laughs> trying to take care of each other. Like, anytime one of us got up, it's like, do you need anything? Do you need water? Do you need ice? What do you want? <laughs> oh. But yeah, that was rough. <laughs> Alright. I've, uh... I've stalled long enough. We're playing Resident Evil 4. Um, something about Resident Evil 8 is that it pulls quite a bit from RE4. That's not a spoiler. That's purely a UI thing. But, uh, I don't know. I was feeling nostalgic. I was gonna set up something, uh... on the PlayStation for us to start playing this week, but... I just did not have the energy to mess with any of that, so... Playing this for now. Come through this crap, now you'll feel much better with social undistancing. I mean, I typically don't have any reason to leave the house anyway, so... <laughs> uh, but yeah, it'll be nice. <laughs> Alright, so... We're playing RE4. I am, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and do a new game plus because I want to have fun. Let's go. <gasps> no. I'm not doing special, no. <laughs> we don't need Ashley running around in that little white boob thing. I don't know what to even call it. Besides, I like, uh, Leon's normal outfit anyway. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Hell yeah! Um... Been trying to find a reason for leaving the house for quite some years now. <laughs> uh... I feel that. <laughs> What are you selling? Okay, what do I have to sell? Ooh, okay, I still got some healing items on me. That's good, that's good. 
Killer seven, very nice. Okay. I've got three flashbangs on me. That's good. What are you buying? All right. So we have the largest attache case already. We don't have to worry about it. We will be organizing. It will be grand. Do I want to pick up the treasure map? I mean, I might as well. It's for Resident Evil, my favorite one is seven. Seven was pretty solid. I'm interested to see what you think of eight. Because, uh, uh, I, I just don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and grab that. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Okay, what can I... Oh, yeah, Blacktail's already fully upgraded, huh? Oh. Exclusive, you say? I believe I will be grabbing that. Is that all, stranger? Oh, that's 80,000. Hang on. What else do we have? Yeah, we could work on that. All I know about it is the creepy smiling lady with big assets and hand claws. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Hmm. I've got some options here. I can juice up my right gun a little more. I might want to do that. I like how we're almost 20 minutes in and I've just been talking this whole time. We haven't even started the game. <laughs> uh, you know what? Ooh, the TMP is not even maxed out yet. Mm. We don't pick up the mind thrower. You know, since I'm going to be using the handgun more than anything, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the exclusive. Is that all, stranger? Let's see. So the firepower right now is three point two. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. How was your weekend, Galaxy? 1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. This game doesn't Soon have after, subtitles, the by the way. To the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Dun dun dun. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Corium, 
Why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you're crazy, American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. It also could have been Mickey Mouse. My first job would have been a rescue mission. All right, everything's fine. Oh, look at that car. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Uh, funny guys. Who are these guys? Did you say something? <laughs> the car's gone. Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. Alright. Found a good way of making my drinking water more interesting. Just a pinch of citric acid into the bottle. Oh, alright. Okay, so. Yeah, this, uh, this game has no subtitles. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I should have sold some of those! I didn't know I had that many! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there's more! Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to shut up during the cutscenes. Um, also you'll notice that, uh, the controller support is for an Xbox controller. I am playing on a PlayStation controller. Um, muscle memory should take over, but if I get a prompt to press X, I'm gonna have a brief moment where my brain just kind of goes, oh, which one? And I'm gonna hit the wrong button. So I'm gonna fail a lot of these uh, quick time events. <laughs> I'm telling you now. <laughs> All right, let's do a little bit of a. Uh... This is all out of sorts right now. Hang on, hang on.
Oh my god, I'm just now noticing. Brood, come here. Did you know that these had like black caps on the tops? Whoop. Huh. No, I did not. I've never noticed that. Huh. I haven't either. I thought that was just part of the, uh, like the background when they were, you know, facing down to up or up to down rather. Neat. <laughs> HD. What the hell? That's funny. Oh. <laughs> like when we were playing RE5 and we could actually see the different bullet types. Oh my god, those are bullets! <laughs> <laughs> That's goofy. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to. Uh, oh, there we go. That one goes there. HD? Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, there's a... Oh, hang on. This is all, all just, oh. Okay. It's better. It's still not great, but it's better. Why do I not have my stock on my TMP? Remove? There's supposed to be an E on there when it's equipped. Ah, that's why. All right, give me a minute. Generally, I think QTEs are bad game design. Yeah, they didn't. I'm not a fan of them. Oh, yeah, like Brood said. <laughs> okay. It's gonna take me a little while to get used to things again. Oh, that's right. The trigger is knife for some reason. Or rather, that's uh, left trigger. So it's L2, that's R2. Not that way, cowboy. Fine, I guess I won't go home. So yeah, very interested to see which of the treasures I remember. Though I did buy the treasure map, so... Oh god. We'll just go ahead and start this now. Sorry, I keep doing this with the camera. I'm trying to use that for actual camera control, and I... I forget that's not how this game works. He looks friendly. We should go see what he's up to. Anything fun over here? There's not. Can I just peer at you through the window? No. Man appears to be choking, sir. Uh, excuse me, sir. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Sorry to have bothered you. Freeze. All right, dude's mad. Then again, I did just wander into his house. Gonna matter. 
<laughs> Is everything okay? There's a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Ah, uh, crap. He's not a zombie. Thank you, Leon. All right. Looks like they've killed a lot of people. Yep, those are maggots. Forgot, is Leon part of the stars team? Um... Technically, no. Uh, so Leon... <laughs> the plot of RE2 is that Leon was late to his first day of work. And he was just, uh, supposed to be regular Raccoon PD. And, uh, yeah, that's when the, uh, big outbreak and everything happened, so... He wasn't officially stars. I should play RE2 again. Never did, uh, Leon's campaign. Let's jump out the window like a cool guy. Here I am hitting, uh, PlayStation X instead of, uh, Xbox X. Oh, no! Oh, no. All right, all right. Already a problem. Oh, my God! Oh, this is gonna take me a while. That exclusive is gonna save me. Oh, these controls are just oof. Completely counterintuitive to everything I've played in the past 10 years. <laughs> God. All right. We got some money. I think that's an herb. Yeah. We don't have enough green herbs. You know, I think I will actually save there in case the controls fail me again. There, we'll save there. And we'll go ahead and get our uh, target practice in here. Oh boy, it's very sensitive. Come on, come on. That bird had ammo on it. It was him or me. See? That bird had a grenade. There you go, little doggo. I would ask you what was the best part about Resident Evil 2. Movie, would you guess it in one try? Oh. Probably not. <laughs> Okay, that's where we came from. Oh boy. I'm trying to figure out if I want to turn off motion blur. I normally try not to mess with the visual settings, but. Ah, uh, okay. I was gonna say, I don't know who that is. And we've got some, uh, traps here. I'm not gonna blow those up just yet. 
Instead, I'm gonna walk past them, freak out, forget they're there, and then blow myself up on them. And walk right into the bear trap. Very good. <gasps> he didn't walk into it. Give me your hat. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I feel like uh, I'm getting near... No. We're still too early for that. Never mind. Nope. We're gonna back it up. Okay, so the ominous music's just gonna play and they're just gonna stare at me. Oh my god, Leon. <laughs> what is reload? There we go. Alright, how many bear traps am I gonna step in? This is the question. We've already got one. Let's see if anything's showing up on my uh, treasure map. Okay, yeah, there really isn't anything this early on. Alright. I know you're in there. I can see you. Sir. Will it let me hit him? It will. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Fatal shot to the elbow. Not a good way to go out. It's a wooden box. Thank you, Leon. Alright, so the first couple hours of this are gonna be pretty jank. There's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Hunnigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it, thanks. <laughs> Hunnigan, what does that mean? What are we playing? What do you mean? Oh, just because the controls are weird. So it's gonna take me a while to acclimate. Yo, that guy's super dead. But everyone else seems to be going about their business. Alright. And there are chickens. Oh god, look at that chicken. <laughs> You stay away from that fire chicken. It's going to roast you and seal in your juices. Do we want that? Maybe. Alright. All these people seem friendly. Let's try to go this way. don't know that I'm here yet. I'm just gonna take this green herb. 
All right, so we're approaching our big uh, first combat section. This is going to go roughly. <gasps> She's seen me. Roughly for them. <laughs> hey, MJ. Scared of scary games? Don't blame you. Oh, yes. Uh oh, I've made them angry. But yeah, I think this is, uh, I was thinking about it earlier. This might be the first scary game I've actually played myself. Like, I grew up watching my dad play horror games and. Oh god, there we go. You know what? I have never played fear. Don't you throw that at me. Ah, twins! Oh my god, I'm missing horribly. All right, that was enough. I did watch my dad play a bit of that one, though. But yeah, I was actually, uh... Well, hang on, we're gonna get a one-liner from Leon here. Lord Sattler. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Shut up, Leon. <laughs> Oh, meh. Again, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. But yeah, I was uh, actually introduced to this game by a um, guy I was dating in high school. I was over at his house and we started playing this and I was like, oh man, I'm so scared. Oh man, I, I don't know if I can play this and he just sat there with me and he was encouraging me. He's like, it's okay, it's okay, just get that guy and... So yeah, played it for, I don't know, about an hour. Didn't get very far in because I'd take a few steps and then I'd freak out. <laughs> He would just laugh and encourage me, though, so I was like, okay, whatever, and... Eventually, it got late enough that, um, uh, my dad came and picked me up because it was time to go home. And I was like, Dad, we gotta get this game. And he's like, okay. And so we did, and then I started playing it at home, and, um, he was watching me. And then he started playing his own file, and... Oh, yeah. So I could have come in here. And, you know, blocked off that door for safety, but we didn't need to. Also, the shelf. And so, yeah, we've, uh... We've spent many, many hours of our lives playing this game. And then I got to show it to Brood when we were in college, and it was fantastic. Oh man! I don't have room to take the shotgun! I do want to pick it up so that I can sell it. Hang on. Let's, uh... Sorry, still working on my buttons here. 
Can we make triple greens? Oh, we can. I forgot. I have to reorganize that. Never had an experience of sharing games with my parents. Yeah, my uh, my dad's the only reason I'm as big into games as I am, because he introduced me to them, so. He's a big nerd. So now I am a big nerd. <laughs> oh, there we go. I was trying to remember how to rotate again. <gasps> Get! Do I have enough space for this now? Okay, we can get rid of that sniper ammo. That's fine. I'm not gonna be needing that very soon, anyway. Or actually, I'll get rid of those uh, three extra shotgun shells. Good trade. <laughs> oh, that tank, yeah. Oh, there's a grenade. Oh, I'm gonna have to make decisions here. It's fine. But how did I pick that one up? Okay, I did have a little bit of space. I didn't need to get rid of that. Oh! As you can tell, uh, keeping your stuff organized is, uh, is the mini game here. You know, I, uh, I think I can sacrifice one of these here. <laughs> I think it'll be okay. If by some miracle I'll have children, definitely introduce them to games. Gotta keep the nerd line strong. Ugh, that's a gross bed. Inventory management simulator, there you go. Like, people have been saying for years, if we need a mobile game, just get a attache case XL. That's it. Just put the inventory management on there. It's what everybody loves. There is a shiny thing up there and I want it. How do I get up on the roof? Is there a ladder in the back? Ah, I need to get up that way. <laughs> I think we're good on healing, considering I take very little damage. Though I will be taking way more damage than I should. It'll be alright. Is there actually nothing in that box? What the hell? <laughs> I don't remember there being empty boxes. Alright, that's the way out. We want to try to loot as much as we can in here. This is just a good hiding spot. Okay, I believe the max on handgun ammo is 50. Yeah, there we go. And there's a document. Alert order. Recently, there has been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. Do not let this American agent get in contact with the prisoner. For those of you not yet informed, the prisoner is being held in an old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. The prisoner is to stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is just is not just a coincidence. I sense a third party other than the United States government involved here. My fellow men stay alert. From Chief Bitores Mendez. Ooh. All right. Let us continue our looting. I don't remember if I can actually get that now or if I have to wait until later. 
And now we climb up this really tall ladder. I think there are shotgun shells up here. Well, wait, that doesn't make sense to have a... Uh... Oh, yeah, there are. Yeah. Is that just handgun ammo if you don't have the shotgun yet? Because it does not make sense to have shotgun shells out. No, you normally wouldn't have one at this point. Watch out, chickens. Kick down the door. Hey, more handgun ammo. We're selling that shotgun as soon as we can. It's taking up way too much space. Several small items here, nothing useful though. And this is another, another space where you could have hidden and uh, put that in front of the door. We can knife open these locks. Someone just left a small chest full of uh, coins here. Thousand pesetas. Very nice. More shotgun ammo that I can't pick up. And that barrel was just empty. What the hell? Okay. Ugh. Hmm. So yeah, if you're a fan of uh wandering around a dilapidated looking village, RE8 is the game for you. <laughs> Imagine this but bigger and prettier. That barrel was also empty. What even? I can't pick that up. Why was that one empty? So incendiaries actually aren't great. In this game. You want to hang on to your regulars and your uh... Flashbangs. Actually, hang on. Is my TMP really not hold any more than 80? There we go! Alright, hang on. Wrong button. <laughs> Help. Okay, so that's just destroying my, uh... My accuracy at the end of the chapter. That's okay. It wasn't gonna be good anyway. I'll go ahead and pick that up. And that. Okay, there we go. Well, now I want to check all my weapons. I don't have any more of those. I thought for sure my shotgun could hold more. Yeah, all right. I'm a little concerned that I don't have any magnum ammo, but that's okay for now. Dark Souls is the game with the most dilapidated world I've probably seen. I don't doubt it. Have I checked all of these? I know I didn't get that treasure up there, but... Hang on. Is there somewhere I can climb up? Yeah, there's not. Hmm. Alright, I'll get out of here. It's just a little bit of money. It'll be all right. I think we'll get it on the way out. And we'll take that. We'll be 
back for you. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Don't worry about it. I hate windows looking to the west. All right. All right, we have a dumpster here. I can finally put Leon where he belongs. Just kidding. Leon's all right. We have another use for that dumpster. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. All right, maybe this gentleman will be friendly. He's just over here working. Oh no, he's not friendly. I am surprised he didn't die, and also that it didn't let me do my awesome Leon kick on him, but okay. Oh, there you are. Alright, so the fun thing about these guys is you can pop their heads off and they uh, they can still take a couple more steps and then, you know, grab you or attack you or whatever. It's not great. Alright, so we've got a note here. Oh yeah, that's very fun. <laughs> 15 blue medallions, 7 in the farm, 8 in the cemetery. For those of you who destroy 10 or more, will be awarded. The rest is ineligible. Alright, so let's see how long it takes me to shoot down all of these things. And there's always one that I can never remember where it is. Even though they're marked on the map, I think there's somebody still up here. Is there not? Alright. There's one. Leon. I hear something walking. I can't tell if that's supposed to be chickens or what. Oh yeah, there's a uh, thing there. All right, so this is a treasure. It's a necklace. I can shoot it down and then it will land in this uh, mess here. And I can sell it for, uh, you know, decent chunk of change. Or I can shoot this out, have it not fall in the mess. And it's clean. And I can sell it for a bigger chunk of change. I didn't know about that until several playthroughs in. My dad actually showed that to me. Just pretty wild. And yeah, I'm not gonna save just yet. Oh, chicken just laid an egg. I'm not gonna be able to pick that up. Oh my god. Depth perception! It's a thing! Come on, Leon. There we go. <laughs> you got it, buddy. Okay, so this is gross. Nothing here except a stinking pool of manure. Um, Leon, it looks like there are several maggots in there. That's full of people. I can't believe this. These are all dead bodies. Makes little sense to care about some pendants in the post 
apocalyptic world, even more so for somebody to bother to buy them. Ah, yeah, well. <laughs> Midgey Games. Look, the dog is here. And he's not going after the chickens. The chickens don't like when you aim at them for whatever reason. Can't imagine why. Okay. Yep, there it is. I'm not gonna be able to hit that from here with my aim, so... Let's just get this one. Come on, Leon. Oh my god. I waste so much ammo trying to pick this up. That's purely Leon, by the way. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not moving that. Let's get a little closer here. Oh my god. Stationary target, Leon. For the love of god. I don't even need the stupid thing anymore. <laughs> I hear footsteps. I wasn't wrong! Oh, I wanted to shoot him off the fence. Alright. Just came to a restaurant, they bring you a chicken, you open your mouth, it crawls inside. <laughs> Chickens are very cooperative. <laughs> oh, but they're so cute. Okay, now, back to whatever it was I was doing. Shooting this windmill one. The chickens have been spooked once more. Uh, come on, come on. We gotta wait. Would run off and go get another one in the meantime, but then I'm gonna forget about this one. There we go. Settle down, chickens, man, come on. Alright, how many have we shot here so far? Four? Oh, we've gotten five. Very good. There is a treasure here. It's right in this box. I believe it's a stein. Oh no! However, will I get in there? Take this money. I believe there's a dude upstairs. Yeah, there totally is. We're just gonna... He wasn't bothered by all of those gunshots outside. Don't worry about it. There. No, put it in the magnum. Uh, just gonna do this. Let's reload our magnum really quickly so it's not taking up any space. There we go. Alright, we can open this up. And handgun bullets. There's a thing down here. Hang on.
money. And a couple barrels. Cool. All right. So yeah, you come out this side and oh my god, I can't get over to that area. What the hell? Give me that. So you come over here and you could run along this way. It actually makes it a little bit easier to shoot that one. Which I didn't remember until right now. Too bad. But you can jump down over here. And pick up the stein. And you can see that there are three little uh, notches there. We will be able to add other treasures to it. And make that sell for a little bit more. And we'll just push that right out of the way. And we're good. And back up the ladder we go. Those chickens keep laying eggs. Okay, I'm still missing two pendants. One is right there. Leon. Stop fighting me. Stop fighting me. There we go. Okay, I have one more. Where is it? Ah, I think I know which one that is. Um... Maybe I don't. Now, for the record, you're not supposed to be spending this- Yeah, there it is. That's the one I thought it was. Alright. We've got all those in this area. But yeah, for the record, you uh, don't typically spend this much time here. But hey, this is me. That barrel just didn't have anything in it. We're gonna go ahead and save after we got all of those. We are good to go. Progression is up that ladder once more. Unrelated. May have good chances of becoming the best month of 2021. Mass Effect releases in four days. Oh god, yeah. Oh, another season of Lucifer. Nice. New expansion, Legend of Ruterra, was on May 5th. Been theory crafting the hell out of it. Nice. Yeah, this is actually a jam-packed week. Um, the uh, new season, season of the Splicer, starts in Destiny tomorrow. Wasn't expecting a Bioshock uh, tie-in, but here we go. Not really, but how weird would that be? Um, season 4 of Castlevania on Thursday. And then, uh, yeah, Mass Effect on Friday. Kind of wild. It won't open, it's barred from the other side. <laughs> yeah, because the new Destiny season's called a season of the Splicer. <laughs> oh, 
All right, well, good news. There's a ladder here so I can climb back up. It's totally unrelated. Let's go this way. All right, here's our first QTE. These guys just uh, rolled a boulder onto me. Rude. And now they're just walking off. Oh no, they're just gonna stand here. Screw you guys. Give me your drops. Come on. Oh, all right. Well. I don't think there's anything fun up here. And now we get the uh, little hall of treasures here. There are bats in here, you can knife them. It's also funny to just watch Leon's head track with them. We got those guys good. Okay, now there are treasures in here. Two, perhaps. Hmm. That one might be on the other side. All right, so this area has bear traps. You can see there's another uh, tripwire over there. And then there's this guy with the uh, dynamite. We're just gonna go ahead and nip that in the bud. Don't you throw that. So yeah, if you, uh... If you can take them out before they throw that, they'll blow themselves up, which is great. Actually, you want Infiltrator run. Do I really not have the scope on here? I not have the scope on there. All right, and we're just gonna... Hey, dude. There we go. <laughs> I didn't go back and reload that. That frees up a slot. You know what? I need to empty uh, the shells out of the shotgun. Yep, there's that bear trap that I normally hit. And here's Mr. Explody over here in this house. Stop it. Okay, well I can't hit him with the shotgun from here, so... Check. Again, the same signpost. Yes. Thank you, Leon. Can I hit you from back here? Let's see. Do you have a clear shot? Let's do it. Yeah, you didn't like that, did you? Oh, okay, now he's hiding behind the tree. Uh. Well. Stop throwing those at me. I'm trying to take care of the bear trap, sir. <laughs> oh, God. Depth perception. Hard to judge in this game. Back with a snack. Very nice. What you snacking on? Oh, yes. Hang on, bear trap. Something I very much enjoy. Look! Look at the 
spider friend. Now watch his legs. That's that's not how spiders work. <laughs> that was a very creative way to uh, have spider movement, but uh, it's not quite right. It's okay though. He's a cute little spider. Alright, which way do I want to go? I think I want to get into this building here. Because I believe there are goodies. But there are also going to be more dynamite guys. And probably bear traps. box and it's just kind of in the hallway off to the side and I can't actually see it but it's making a shadow. It just scared the hell out of me. <laughs> oh my god. The door is nailed shut. I can get it with my knife. I cannot. So far, all I've been seeing in the game is senseless violence against locals. I mean, they started it. <laughs> I didn't start this fight, but I'll end it. Alright, there is a treasure... Okay, there's another house that looks like this one, and I always think this is it. No, this is it. But there's a reason I think this is it, because it actually is. Bird's nest has something fun in it. This is a red cat's eye. So, something fun that RE4 has. Combinable treasures. We have now added that to the beer stein. Ooh. So later on, we will find a yellow and a green place in there, and then we can sell that for quite a lot of money. It's very nice. And again, it took me another few playthroughs to actually find that one up there. I'm actually wondering if Brood found that one. Hearing some thumping sounds, somebody must be doing some construction in here. Time to knock ourselves under the table. Hell yeah! And we'll go ahead and save. Probably don't want to walk into that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh There we go. We've made it this far without actually setting one of these off, which is impressive. And also a bit disappointing because I was trying to get uh one of the guys to just walk into it. Instead I walked into the bear trap, so you know. Guess we won't be picking that up. <laughs> hmm. 
I don't know. I think we'll just leave. I'm sure this will be fine. Couple of granola bars, nice. Holy crap, it's a person. Ah, a little rough, don't you think? You're not like them? No. You? <clears throat> okay, I have only one very important question. You got a smoke? Got gum. Perfect. The big cheese. What? <laughs> Leon. <laughs> <laughs> you think that would work? Hit ratio, 60%. Yes! <laughs> but we were killed zero times. Also scared of spiders and basically just frightened of this entire game. Oh no! Don't worry. It'll be okay. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and save and while we're on the screen, I'm gonna run to the bathroom really quickly. And his ankle is broken. Yeah, for real. Like, Leon, buddy. That man is solid. What are you thinking? All right, I'll be right back. No, 69%. <laughs> uh, so I'm actually very interested to see what happens when I upload this to YouTube, because uh, with my last RE4 playthrough that I uploaded, I got a copyright claim on this very song. And I went to check it out, because I was like, surely not. Like, Capcom's usually okay with that. Well, about, you know, the copyright claims on their music and stuff. And it was claimed by some, like, Russian dude rapping over the song. And it's like, um, no, you don't own this song. <laughs> what the hell, dude? <laughs> so yeah, I don't know what that was about. Humans, let us give you our power. I'm unable to resist this intoxicating power. Ew. That's in me now. Hey. Hey, wake up. Ay, uh, ay, ay. Crawl out of one hole? and into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? 
Americano, see? Now what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, <laughs> whoever you are. Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. Sassy head turn. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Want to start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite a ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. Thank you. put your life on the line, nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. <laughs> Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Hey boy, I'm not done. Hey! Do something, cop! After you! Now! Nice of you to help, dude. It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? I'm fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. Bad Leon. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No, but apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. All right. So we're going to church. Over here, stranger. Yay! And here's our bestest friend in this game. And we're gonna save so we don't have to watch all that again. All right. We didn't get to uh, use up those shotgun rounds, but that's okay. All right, so he's hanging out around back. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Leon's like, oh, thank God he wasn't naked. What are you selling? All right, so I think we can get rid of a little bit of our uh, health items here. <laughs> Gonna come to regret that. Oh God, the base shotgun only sells for 10,000. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. Sure. Look at how much the riot gun cost. Holy crap. <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Go ahead and get rid of all Thank those green you. greens. Um, those are purely for Is selling. That old stranger. <laughs> Thank you. Sell the pendant. <laughs> Thank you. Hanging on to the beer stein. Got a couple more gems to put in there. I'll sell one of those. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we have a little bit of a uh, little bit of money to play with now. 
What are you buying? Let's tune something up. Right gun still needs a little more firepower. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Exclusive was 120k. Ooh, but it is for the shotgun, so makes sense. Oh, we can increase rifle capacity. So, um, just if you're playing through this first first time, completely new save file. Um, strategy you want to take advantage of is anytime you can get to a merchant and you can afford a capacity upgrade, you want to make sure the weapon that you're upgrading is completely depleted of ammo. Because if you hit that capacity upgrade, it will refill it completely. So you get a bunch of free bullets there. That's not really a big deal for me right now since this is New up? Game Plus and you see I'm kitted to the max, so... <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. That's gonna help me save a little bit of space. Okay, can't do the TMP yet. Thanks, buddy. Let's see how our inventory's looking now. Mmm, cleaner. Okay. But it's still kind of a mess, so hang on. And we'll move you up here, and we'll move you over there. Remind me to use some grenades. I'm going to hoard them like a dragon and forget that I've got them. Um... Now we'll move this down here, actually. So I like to keep my ammo near the gun that uh, it goes to, you know? But, look at all the space we have. For the sake of saving space, sometimes you just can't do it. That's all right. And we're gonna go back and save so I don't have to go back and sell that stuff again in the unlikely event that I die by doing something stupid. Nope, oh, there's another green herb. <laughs> but you know, we wanna be safe here. Can't wait to play space management in Mass Effect 1's inventory again. Oh my god. I sincerely hope they got rid of that. It was a freaking nightmare. <laughs> oh, we're gonna find out though, huh? Which way did that door open? Okay, the hinges are on the right side of us, like, right now. Okay. Never mind. We're good. <laughs> All right, nothing fun over here. All right, so this is as far as I got the first night that I uh, ever played this game. And I was like, no way, this is too much. I'm freaking scared. guys down. Don't you throw that at me. Don't you throw that at me. Did that guy drop anything? He didn't. He's throwing stuff at me. Alright, so this is your first opportunity to buy either a shotgun or a rifle. There's a guy right there. Excuse me, sir. Alright, they're running up here on me. Right in the knee. We got some money here. Actually, I think you can only get the rifle here. And there's a bunch of guys running over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... You know what? I'm gonna use a flashbang. I mean, not a flashbang. Well, never mind. was going to use an incendiary, but uh, it appears the dynamite guy took care of that for me. 
Wrong button. It's fine. God, did you see the frame rate die there? <laughs> Hello. Ow. All right. You guys are starting to be bastards, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, There we go. There's a guy standing on a roof over there. It's not a problem right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. Are there bear traps in here? I don't remember. I will find it with my feet soon enough. I've actually taken a little bit of damage. I'm going to go ahead and eat this. Ah, yes, gentlemen. I'm trying to shoot that, uh... Thing out of the editor, but that's okay. Oh, hey, buddy. He's cut his butt up a little. He's all right. Okay, I do need to go up that ladder. I hear somebody, though. Is he up top, or is he just outside? I think he's just outside. Don't throw stuff at me. Oh my god. Alright. Gonna drop anything? No? Alright, well, boo. So this is what we're up here for. We've got the right half of an emblem. Roof guy's still okay. Go ahead and take that. Can I get down there without? Okay. So something fun you can do is go ahead and knock down those ladders. So that guys can't climb up them. They carried that over into RE5. Which Brood and I have a lot of fun with. Um, which way do I want to go here? There is some loot over this way. Oh, you're lucky I pulled out my knife first and you would have been dead. Nope, now you're dead. Death perception! I see you. Let me hit that barrel. Or don't. Alright, that's fine. Oh my god. Aim bad. Yeah, come here. Oh, okay, you're just gonna climb. Stay down, sir. God, they give you a lot of ammo. I am playing on normal. And here's our loot. We got the second half of our emblem here. All right. And we've got some more guys running up. Gentlemen, can I help you? Gross. Roof guy's still chilling up there. Good for him. 
roof guy is now throwing things at me. Yes, he is. Uh oh. <laughs> I see you. I see you. Thanks, roof guy. You're a real one. And then there's you. Just fall down. Okay. Red eliminated. Is there anything up here? Or is this just a... Why would you come up here? It seems like a bad idea. Everyone's just gonna be throwing stuff at you and you can't dodge. Anything fun? A little bit of money. All right. Yellow herb. I really don't need that. I'm actually going to heal up, though. <laughs> you got a little bit of damage there. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Anything back here, or was this just a... Okay. That's just a fun little secret passage. Alright, so I have both halves of the thing, but... Oh my god, it won't open! Looks like something fits in there. So we have to combine this. And now I can use it. So I've mentioned I've played this game many, many times before. That means that I remember some areas very, very specifically. I can tell you which item is in which box and everything. Unfortunately, I remember stuff completely out of order. For whatever reason. <laughs> uh... So yeah, there are going to be a lot of times when I'm like, oh yeah, I know which section's coming up next. And then, oh wait, I lied. Hmm. There's a very fancy mask over there. Good times. This area is full of bear traps. I'll be stepping in at least one of them. So this mask here, you can already see there's indentations in the top. That's another item that you'll need to find three things to combine. Yeah, so this is the dynamite and bear trap room. I'm gonna back up and try to get everybody to uh, get in the door here. Because it's funny and I enjoy it. like to see my shotgun. Bitch. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to be a cool guy. All right. bear traps just yet. That was just empty because reasons, I guess. And, you know. 
know, here's the, uh, the start of the dynamite fun times. So I need to be fast here. Or I can just be a cool guy and shoot that out of the air. And you know what? We have enough ammo. I'm not going to bother trying to knife these. I'm just going to shoot them. There's still a couple guys who are going to come in from that door over there. And there's the bear traps. There they are. Oh, yes, the pitchfork enemy. Very good. More pitchfork than man. That door is blocking my shots despite the laser going through it. That's cool. There's treasure inside this little thing that I'm standing next to. I think it's a furnace. Yeah, come stand in the same spot where your buddy just fell. That's a good strategy. Okay. Yeah, give me that. Okay, get a little bit of money. I'm gonna reach my hand into that burning flame. Seems legit. And look, more bear traps. So yeah, if you're playing this on the, uh, playing this for the first time and ammo is a concern, go ahead and knife those. I'm not worrying about it though. <laughs> Can I break those or push them? No, I can't. Okay. And this is how you grab that mask. It's an elegant mask. And now my shoes are all wet. That's gross. Actually gonna go ahead and combine these, even though I... Never mind. <laughs> Thank you, muscle memory. That was not helpful. Oh well, that's fine. Make sure I'm not missing anything shiny up in the ceiling. Hello. There we go. All right, now. Let's go fishing. You think I am kidding, I am not. I got a fish. Give me big chungus. Give him to me. Come here. I think he takes two hits. Or I just- oh, okay. Okay, you're a tough guy, huh? There we go. All right. Here we are killing fish. As we do on this channel. Every game, every single game. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> oh my god, okay. That's hilarious. Why does this keep happening? <laughs> Alright. We've got some crows here, and we also have plenty of grenades.
Leon, that was an awful throw. But, uh... Now we have a little bit of money and a snack for later. And we'll go ahead and shoot those traps. Can I reach that without... Oh, there was another bird! No! Ah! Hello. I don't think I get this one normally. Pocket watch, all right. Oh yeah, you can open this back up too. I don't know why you'd want to, but you can. All right, there's nobody hiding in here. That's good. And that was just empty, cool. Okay. Are there any bird's nests up here? I don't see any. Let me see if there's anything marked on the map. Nope, we're good. Oh, really? Okay. I did just leave that trap up because I thought there were going to be some guys, but, uh, there were not. Up the stairs we go. And we have a little kind of puzzle. It's a large crystal ball. Looks like it rotates. All right. And it's done. <laughs> Puzzle God. Got a little bit of ammo in here. Insignia key. All right. Can I take that one down? I can't. Check. There are all textbooks written in English. Oh, what did it say? I don't have the time to read them. Yeah. Okay. Chief's note. Where did he get this awesome red paper? As instructed by Lord Sadler, I have the agent in confinement alive. Why keep him alive? I do not fully understand what the Lord's intentions are. That white text on the back is really hurting me. Oh. I would, however, think he'd keep them separate, not confine them together as has been ordered. I don't expect Luis would trust a stranger, but if by chance they did cooperate, the situation could get a bit more complicated. If for some reason an unknown third party is involved, I don't think they'd let a chance like this slip by. But maybe it's all Lord Sadler's ploy, leaving us vulnerable so that this third party will surface, even if the... If they even exist, that is. Woo. It's an unlikely possibility, but if a Prowler is already among us, then our plans could be ruined. I guess the Lord thinks it's worth the risk if we're able to stop whatever conspiracy is at work. At any rate, it's the Lord's call. We will trust his judgment, as always. Yeah, Sadler knows what he's doing. It's alright. <gasps> that window's unbreakable. Oh, God. blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. <laughs> 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 
What? This ain't blood. There we go. My hit ratio is a little bit better now. I'm doing it. You're doing it. I'm seeing it. Yeah. I had a shower. Yes, I noticed. Very nice. <laughs> now it's nap time. Oh. <laughs> Ruda's now clean man. He had a shower. Ah, yeah. Everybody loves back scratches. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Leon, I've been able to get some new info that might help you. Fill me in. Apparently, there's a religious cult group involved. Oh, They're no! The Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados? <laughs> That's a mouthful. Anyway, I had an unexpected run-in with the big cheese of this village. But you're okay, right? Yeah. But he could have killed me, but he let me live. And he mentioned something about me carrying the same blood as them. Whatever that means. Carry the same blood? Huh. Interesting. Anyway, there are more important things than solving riddles right now. You're right. Hurry and find that church, Leon. Hunnigan's like, that's cool and all, but you need Jesus. <laughs> eh. Got some creepy porches in here. Alright, let's head downstairs. Put your hands up. Oh my god. I just blew a hole in that door. Ah, I interrupted him. That's my bad, sir. I don't know, there's just something about peeing by candlelight. <laughs> it seems like an enormous fire hazard. That's a small room to have candles in this completely wooden house. Whatever, live your life. Looks like the people in this house eat like normal humans. Yeah, they got wine. A lot of pictures of this guy. Looks like the people here carry out their lives like ordinary people. They even read books. Maybe they just collect them, Leon. We don't know. I can't open that. Oh, nice. Light candles die young. <laughs> Leave a good smelling house. I saved 73 times on my last playthrough. Good god. Can I jump out of there? I can't. Alright, progression is this way. Oh, yes! Oven egg! How would you store a single egg in the oven? I don't know. These people are kind of wild. One moment. Alright, now he's getting too close. Uh, 
That guy's back up. What was that? What was that? All right, we got a ruby. That doesn't suck at anything. He just had that on him, and now it's ours. So yeah, these uh, these chainsaw guys are Dr. Salvador, as they're called. Usually a bigger threat. Not a new game plus. <laughs> also, God, who remembers the uh, chainsaw controller that came with the special edition of this game on release? <laughs> What the hell was that thing, man? All right, we got a bird's nest up there. What was that, sir? Oh. Sensitivity got me again. Hey, lady. I don't even have to make the sound effects. Leon just does it anyway. Alright. Alright, so the two Resident Evil games I use the knife most frequently. This and uh, Code Veronica. Alright, we combine them correctly. Everything is fine. Oh my god, what is this mess that's happening here? Oh no, oh no, hang on. Uh, it's fine. Uh. <laughs> I'm not happy with that, but that's how it's gonna stay. Right, any other bird's nests? Aha! A TMP ammo? Yes, it is. <laughs> Can you imagine? Hello. Leon doesn't have a great arm, so I'm gonna let them run up on me a little bit. Alright, that last guy was smart and he didn't run up to that. That's okay. Don't. But yeah, can you imagine just grabbing a fish out of the water and throwing it into the same uh, case where you have all of your weapons and stuff? <laughs> I feel like stuff getting wet is your uh, least concern at that point. Just, oh, oh. All right, look, we're back. This is where things get fun. And like, actually fun, because I can just stand here with a shotgun now. I had to shoot that a little early because he was uh, throwing that at me and it was actually going to hit me. Oh my god, you're not dead. Sit down, sir. All right, we keep having these guys run up to the side here. That's not cool. No. No. <laughs> All right. Who wants some? Um... I think there's a guy standing on the- yeah, there's a roof guy. Where's your fiddle, sir? Where is it? All right, we got some money. We've got another flashbang. Yep, there you are. 
How can I help you, ma'am? God. All right, we're just gonna... Leon, please. All right, this is the way back out. This is how we uh, walked in initially. We're gonna knock you off the roof. The chickens are fine. If I remember right, they do actually take some fall damage if you knock them down. So that's neat. Atrocious customer service. That woman will sue you. <laughs> Box is repopulated. An unpleasant odor coming from the kettle. That's not shocking. Sure doesn't smell like a refresh refreshing drink to me. What a sinister looking fellow. Very good. Thank you, Leon. Shelf is nailed to the wall. Nothing out of the ordinary here. I mean, yeah, you gotta keep that thing from falling over. How do we get up there? I want to get that shiny that's up there on the roof. That's gonna drive me nuts. It's just up there and I want it. Ah! Don't throw things at me, sir. Can I open this? Huh. I could. Did I really? Yeah, I did come in here. Okay. Yeah, that's where you get the shotgun. Who's growling at me? There we go. Yeah, I totally missed that before. That's upsetting. Anyway, this is where we need to go. Dude, I just got up here. Don't start throwing stuff at me. Ah, there we go. All right, so church, huh? You shoot the chicken, you just get an egg. It's really not worth it. Well, not worth it to me right now. Anyway, it's locked and won't open. There's some kind of symbol on the door. What could we possibly need? Oh, I don't know. And here is our save room music. I have this on my Spotify playlist, and it's really, uh, jarring when it starts playing out of nowhere, and I'm like... <laughs> yeah, we'll go ahead and save. God, two hours in and we're at 1-3. We're taking this very slowly, but that's alright. I'm not here to speedrun. Just here to have fun. Alright, we've got an oil lamp here. It's generally a good idea to stand back a bit before you shoot one of those down. I will light myself on fire. Don't worry about it. It will happen. All right, nothing fun hidden back there. No, we haven't died yet. 
Though if I wasn't on New Game Plus, we probably would have died at least once. <laughs> Okay, that's just empty. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this down. It'll be a little bit darker in here, but we'll have treasure, so it's fine. Aha! Alright, so this thing is special. Elegant headdress. Ooh. Slow and no deaths. Better than fast deaths, yeah. That's my theory, anyway. So yeah, the uh, the first time I tried to stream this game, my controller actually died on me. Got something that might interest you. And I thought I was failing a QTE over and over again. Good <laughs> things on sale, stranger. So that got incredibly frustrating. But it made for an interesting playthrough, that's for sure. Uh, I'll keep that. All right, so this is why we pick up the fish. Is that old stranger? <laughs> you can use them to recover health, but is that old? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, hanging on to the beer stein still and the mask. Got a little bit of money. Let's do some upgrades here. What are you buying? <laughs> Fire emblem flashbacks. <laughs> What are you oh, yeah, not, not quite that bad, but, you know. Oh, I do, yeah. I've been thinking about playing that again. We don't have enough for the exclusive on the shotgun. That's probably for the best. Is that all? <laughs> Go ahead and max out that firepower there. What? No? <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to see the other story. Maybe after Dark Souls. Firepower or capacity? Hmm. Let's go capacity right now. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you know, I can't afford this. Let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. All right, there should be... <laughs> I mean, yeah, it will be the Edelgard playthrough. Hang on, was there really not a typewriter in there with him? Oh yeah, I guess we did just save. Okay, there's one up there. It'll be alright. Maybe. But yeah, I've been missing that game quite a bit. Here we are at the graveyard. So we're gonna need to find some more of those metals. We're also going to shoot birds. There are regular enemies here, too. I'm sure that was surprising to everyone. Yes, yes, I am here. Very good. Okay, you're a little bit closer than I was anticipating. Let me just... Okay. Okay. 
Really? It's just not gonna let me kick her. Okay, well. Okay. While we're over here, let's go ahead and... Get that. All right, so if you get 10 or more of these, the uh, merchant gives you a nice little reward. I'm hoping he'll do it again so that I can immediately sell it back to him. Twins must be buried under this grave. So we have this little S-shaped thing. Get that one there. And we've got another, it's an M-shaped thing. And look, we have 10 to 15, just like that. And then we have a V-shaped thing. That guy's on the other side of the fence, so I have a minute to maybe try to shoot this one. Not from this angle. All right, we'll just take him out. Why do you have dynamite? Can you stop? Those guys are annoying, but not nearly as bad as the uh, dynamite guys in RE5. Oh my god. You know, if I did another Fire Emblem playthrough, you could see Manuela again. There we go. There's 11. There's another bird's nest. That's just... <laughs> Just a grenade, all right. And we're gonna run around the back here. Oh my god, there's a guy, he's got dynamite. He didn't get the light it though. That's a large knife, ma'am. <laughs> all right. Got another one of these here. And a puzzle! Three family insignias of the Dead Ringers. The dial only turns clockwise in either three or four increments. So... We want to do three. Turn on that V. Another three. Get that M. already messed it up. Let's just turn them all on. I should have hit three. Damn it. <laughs> Not paying enough attention to this right now. <laughs> Hang on. Oh god, I ruined it. You can do this in like three moves. Okay, well, let's go ahead and turn that one off. Turn that one back on. Okay, those three are lit up. That's good. All right, now we have to fix this. I knew I was going to do this. I knew it. Turn that one off. Turn that one off. Oh, I should have done three there. I've ruined it again!
It's okay, we get to look at it glowing. It's very nice. Turn that one off. Turn that one back on. Turn that one off. There we go. I made that way harder than it needed to be. Give me that. That's the green cat's eye. <laughs> All right. So now we have red and green. Ooh, getting fancy. Okay, so the last one we need is yellow. Let me check the map real fast. Ah, perfect. All right, the last three medallions we need are coming up shortly. So that door's locked from the other side. It's fine. There's a round hole. Maybe something fits in here. Oh, Lord. Hunnigan, it's Leon. The door's locked. I can't get in. Didn't they teach you how to pick locks at the academy? Yeah. There's some sort of indentation, like something might fit inside. Well, there's no use standing around. Leon, you have to find some way or something to get inside. Oh, no. All right. So now we go over this way. I didn't fall. Ow! Rude. Come on now. All right. Leon, please. Leon, please. Oh my god. There goes my accuracy. <laughs> All right, there's one there, this one over there. Oh, but I hit that one on the first try, sure. There's also one underneath me right here. Oh, you can see it. But will it let me actually shoot it? It will, okay. I'm used to having to hop over and then aim at it. Cool. So we're gonna hop in. Oh, okay, we already got her. <laughs> no! All right, so the snakes have begun. I forgot that was a snake box. We're good. All right, let's see what we've got here. Closure of the church. Regarding the two fugitives, the apprehension of Luis is our top priority. The American agent is distant second. Okay, cool. I'm not a threat. What Luis stole from us is far more important than the girl. Unless we get it back, the girl will become useless to us. We must get it back to execute our plan to the end. If it gets in the wrong hands, the world will become a totally different place than what Lord Sadler has envisioned. At all costs, we mustn't let that happen. Nevertheless, we're not letting go of the girl. To ensure that the agent does not get to her, I have locked the church door where the girl is being held. <gasps> Guys, she's in there. Anyone who needs access to the church must first get approval by Lord Sadler. Okay, so we'll just go ask him to let us in. That'll be fine. There's a key beyond the lake, but it should be safe now that the Del Lago has been awakened by our Lord. I'm sure that's fine. Nothing to worry about. No one will get across the lake alive. Plus, our same blood courses through the agent's veins. It'll just be a matter of time before he joins us. Once he does, there will be nobody else left that will come looking for the girl. It'll be fine. Maybe. There is something funny I want to show off when we uh, go check out the lake. Oh yeah, now I have to be aware of snakes popping out of boxes and biting me. And then this guy's here. Okay. 
threat eliminated. I was gonna try to be a cool guy and kick him in the face, but I guess I won't. <gasps> okay, this is one of the coolest things you can do in this game. Have to be careful not to botch it. Look at all that loot! And you get a flashbang back! Net gain! <laughs> How rad is that? Alright, and there's some stuff in here. We've got handgun ammo. And a little bit of money. Sell my flashbangs out. Let's go ahead and put those away. <gasps> there's a spot for another egg. Hang on, inventory becoming mess. Hang on. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Hang on. We have to swap these now. <laughs> it's a compulsion, don't worry about it. Eggs go with healing. We'll move the ammo down here. Uh, the eggs just restore a little bit of health. I could go ahead and eat one right now. There we go. That's something that they brought back for RE5 as well. Can I get into this one? I can. Okay, there's nothing in here. And I'll take that handgun ammo. Something's growling. Is that my stomach? It might be. I am hungry. Hmm. Thought there was an herb over there. I might be thinking of a different place. Little bit of money. Looks like the gate's securely shut. Wait, I can hear something growling on the other side. That's fine. Hang on, can we see anything in there? Yeah, there's nothing on the other side of that door. <laughs> Alright, well, let's be on our way. See we've got going on down here. Hang on. Okay. It's like I feel like I missed the save point. Nope, it's just down a little bit further. I got scared by my own footsteps. <laughs> it's like, ah, someone's here, get him! <laughs> All right, we've got a nice little blue flame indicating that the merchant is here. Merchant is a good dude. Let's see what he's got here. He's got a lot of grenades. He's got some ammo. Oh my god, look at all those. That's a gun called the Red Nine. Look at all this. What? Oh yeah, he's just got uh, rocket launchers here. No biggie. Enough weapons here to start a small war. You're not wrong, Leon. You're not wrong. We're not gonna talk to him just yet. So I want to grab this. Alright. And we'll save after we deal with the merchant. 
good things on sale, stranger. I'm sure you do. Well done, I see you've shot enough number of medallions. That's kind of awkward. Like I promised, go claim your specialized gun in the buy screen. Don't worry about money, this one's on the house. What are you selling? All right, let's sell some stuff first. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, yeah, that was all. All right. What are you buying? All right, so we're getting all of those medals. We get a Punisher. My gun's not bad. But it's free. Hi. Brood's playing mercenaries mode in RE8. <laughs> so yeah. We got that Punisher for free. Thank you. What are you selling? I'm gonna sell that gun I just got from you. Ah I'll buy it at a high price. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. What are you buying? <laughs> free money. All right, now, I believe I only, yeah, I only have exclusives on all of those. Let's go ahead and work on the Killer 7. Don't have enough money to work on the Killer 7. That's all right. We just spent all of our money last time we were uh, talking to the merchants, so it'll be a little while. I'll be taking that. All right, let's see what's happening in here. And take that ammo. And quick time event number two. Look at him go! Look at him go! All right, we're good. So yeah, these guys uh, went with the boulder plan again, despite it not working the first time. I mean, if you've just got an excess of giant boulders laying around, you might as well, right? You think Leon likes limes or grapefruits more? Hmm. I want to say lime. I can see Leon enjoying a nice margarita from time to time. Leon Jones, he should have become an Olympic sprinter. Yeah, that may have saved him some trouble. Alright, so this area has these uh, trip mines all over the place. That was the only guy that aggroed, so the music stopped immediately. There's another guy in there. And some more standing out there in the water, but they don't seem too bothered by me. Let me see if I can aggro that guy. I would love to have one of these to just, you know, walk into here. Come on, come on. Oh, 
He knew what he was doing there. He knew his buddy was gonna keep running. You're the worst kind of friend, sir. You put that down. All right, there we go. Oop. Too many quick turns. Ah, uh, these right here. If you're panicking and trying to run away, they can get you. But we're just going to have a nice leisurely uh, stroll through this area because, well, our guns are very overpowered. <laughs> there you are. Don't throw stuff at me. Okay, that guy got close enough to trip that one. That's fine. I'm okay with how that turned out. Alright, there's somebody else still aggroed onto me. Oh, there you are. Ah, twins! <laughs> so there's only like four zombie models. Oh, I'm sorry. They're not zombies. They're called Ganado. Which means livestock. <gasps> they got him. Who's yelling at me? Ah! Too close, sir. A grenade, all right. <laughs> Muscle memory's coming back. I feel good about that. Uh, yes. All right, come on, buddy. <laughs> he did his best, I guess. Oh, of course, you dropped loot. I wasn't going to run over there yet. First time around, I just tried to run from everybody. And you kind of can't do that. Well, you can if you're competent, but not if you're, uh, not if you're a scared teenage girl playing this for the first time. Immediately ran into more of those, found some dead ends. It was a bad time. Wasted a lot of ammo, took a lot of damage. But yeah, I, uh, I would not recommend trying to just run through that area unless you've got weapons to deal with the resulting crowd. Also, things are constantly chasing you, and I knew the snake was in that one, so that's fine. <laughs> Those guys are chasing you and throwing stuff at you the entire time, so you're getting hit by that, and then they can catch up, and it's... uh. Kind of a problem. There's another snake. Don't you bite me. There are two snakes here. Come here. Where's the other one?
Game looks very tame so far. You think it'll be able to scare us later? Um, there is a creepier section a little bit later on that still makes me uncomfortable to this day. I've gotten better about dealing with it, but it's still very creepy to me. A very specific enemy. Trying to reload even though my gun's already full. There's a red herb there. I'll go ahead and... I guess I won't. Hang on. I'm sure that's fine. For me, RE4 looks like it's not about horror. Yeah, so this one isn't uh, really as scary as the others. Kind of more about telling the story. But yeah, first, uh, first time around. Game scared the hell out of me. Oh, I can't combine that. Look at how many eggs I have, dude. Eat one of those. So you've got variations of eggs. So you have white and brown. I don't remember if the gold egg is in this one. Or if they just started that in five. There's also a rotten egg in five. But uh... White eggs heal a little bit of health. Brown eggs heal a little bit more. And if the gold egg exists, I think it heals the most. I missed a treasure. Hang on, we're going back for that. That might be one that I don't know about normally. What was further up the path here? Have I gone too far? I have. <laughs> Is it another bird nest? Where is it? Okay, it's further down. Oh, yeah, there it is. Gold bangle with pearls. Okay. I don't know if I've ever gotten that before. Cool. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save here. And, uh, let's go see how our little buddy's doing. Okay, I'm hitting no. Because I don't want that death to count. Not that it really matters in the scheme of things, but... <laughs> what is your question? Where 
Where is Resident Evil? This Resident Evil? It's right here. It's Leon. All right, here we go. That's fine. So I'm not great at this fight. This might take a couple tries. We'll see. All right, so I have to steer the boat and try to dodge this debris. As well as dodge him. And I have these harpoons, and if I hit the debris, I fall out of the boat. Getting knocked out repeatedly makes it harder and harder for you to get back in the boat. Throw the thing! Oh god, here we go. Can I? Okay, there we go. Leon! Alright, can I harpoon him some more, please? Oh god, not if my stick goes like that. Sounds like he's- oh no, he's over this way. Gonna take me way too long to get to him, there we go. Go! Go! Oh, come on! Oh, that sucks. And I'm gonna get- oh, nope, okay. I thought for sure he was gonna knock me out there. That's a problem. There we go. Don't you eat me! Don't you eat me! So yeah, it'll get explained later. But yeah, like Brood said, uh, it's parasites in this game. As for the Loch Ness Monster, I don't know, I guess they just wanted to have you have a harpoon battle or something. Oh god, I always pick the wrong side. Uh... Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. More blood, more blood. Calling PETA. <laughs> what, so they can get them kill it themselves? <laughs> Leon, cut faster. 
And also, maybe not go crazy hacking at something attached to your leg. Good God. <laughs> I know this is a panic moment, but good God. But yeah, Resident Evil 4 is quite a big departure from um, the previous entries in the series. They took a really big risk here, but it paid off. People absolutely love this game. It's been ported many, many times, and we own many different versions of this game. <laughs> Leon's sleepy. That was exhausting for him. Hey, my hit ratio only went down to 85%. Which is uh, actually not bad considering all of those medallions I missed. <laughs> all right. Yeah, Brood, I was trying to think of all the versions of this game that we actually own, and I can't, uh... Let's see. I had this game twice on PC. One, because, um, I bought the PC version of this when I moved to college, because I didn't have a TV. The port was really crappy. Um, and then I bought this version, because I don't have the disc for that one readily available right now. So I have two PC copies. I have the original GameCube copy. Dad bought it again for the Wii, and he plays that one because he likes the motion control a lot better. Um, we have it on PS4. Do we also have it on PS3? I don't remember. But yeah, so that's five, maybe six times we bought this game. I've confirmed. <laughs> oh, it's just a good game. I have watched Degeneration, yes. I don't think Brute has seen it, though. <laughs> He's developing his own face hugger. <laughs> Leon, it's been six hours since our last transmission. I was starting to get worried. Don't you mean lonely? Anyway, I started to feel... Shut up, Leon. I guess I must have lost consciousness. Lost consciousness? Maybe that has some connection to what the village chief was talking about. Hmm. Can't say. But I'm alright now. I'm gonna continue my mission. Alright. I believe we will call it there. For today. We'll save after we, uh... Well, let's pick up all this stuff first. And I'll read this note. This girl is worth hitting on. <laughs> like, good way to get an HR complaint. I like how she just completely sandbags him, too. Just no acknowledgement whatsoever. Anonymous letter. There's an important item hidden in the falls. If you are able to get it, you might be able to get Ashley out of the church. But I'll warn you. The route to the church isn't a walk in the park by any means. They've deployed what's called an El Gigante, so God bless. Or if I want to pronounce that in correctly in any ways, El Gigante. But everyone pronounces it Gigante, so whatever. About what's been going on in your body, if I could help you I would, but unfortunately it's beyond my power. Oh no, Leon's got the second puberty. Nothing unusual here. All right. There was nothing in that box. 
We are finding so many empty boxes. I wonder if that's because I have too much ammo. <laughs> too much firepower. All right, we'll save. And we'll take on chapter two on Wednesday. And hopefully my muscle memory won't give out by then, but we'll see. Oh, I'm down to half health. Oh, that sucks. If only I had some healing items. We'll deal with that on Wednesday. So, thanks for hanging out, guys. Hope you had fun. Resident Evil's kind of a weird game, but it's very enjoyable. And, uh, yeah, it's one of those games I have to play every couple of years or so. It's fun. It's corny. It's a good time. <laughs> Who heals in this game? Eh. Alright. I'm out for today. Enjoy the rest of your night. Have an awesome Tuesday, and we'll be back on Wednesday. Take care.